because I feel like I've forgotten how to use this. Is it on? Can y'all see me? <laughs> we back! Oh my god, we are back, we are back, we are back. How are you guys all doing? Oh my god! Do you know what? It feels so weird to be doing all of this because it's been a while. Welcome back! Happy New Year to all the gems. Happy New Year to you and your family. I'm so excited to be back on your screen. Thank you guys for clicking onto this video. My name is Diamond. Over here, there is nothing but good vibes and positivity, and that's on period. But yeah, 2023 is a year of blessing, peace, harmony, mula mula, cash money, mula mula, good health, good vibes, good energy. That's what 2023 is all about. 2020 me. I'm loving the way this green is looking on the screen. Let me show you guys. I got this one from Primark, yeah? Let me show you guys. Can you guys see this set? Oh, can you guys see this set? Okay, it, look. It looks like this. This set is gorgeous. I got this from Primark and they've also got it in black and they've also got it in orange. This is it. I'm going to buy quite a few because in the summer, I don't care who says what, mum or five, married, I do not care. I'm going to buy these sets. And I'm going to be rocking it in the summer. I'm thinking like this set here with like some nice low dunk um, trainers, like night trainers. Like, yes, like, do you know what I'm saying? Nice makeup, nice light makeup, nice flowy hair. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Come closer, babies. Come closer. Okay. Yeah, let's get to it. I'm just doing my makeup. So we're going to be doing a get ready with me. We're going to have a little chit chat, a little talk, a little something. So guys, go grab a snack, go grab food, go grab whatever and chill. And guys, watch this video until the end. Like, do not leave. And also, please just like this video. It doesn't take much. Like, with the YouTube algorithm, all you have to do is like the video. In fact, you can even dislike the video. But I just need you guys to please interact with this video. If you know someone who is a fellow dime a fellow gem then you can also share this video with them and be like you know what our girl is back like our girl is back do you know what i've got this cut right in the most awkward of places like i've literally oh i'm not throwing it you guys i'm just showing i've literally got like a cut like right there i don't know if you guys can even see i've got a cut like right there can you see that oh my god it is so painful like it's getting caught in my hair it's getting caught in everything like it's so annoying so where have i been oh lord let me tell you guys so you guys may know already by now like i've already had my baby baby k is seven months old like can you guys believe that like Sometimes I literally, I sit there and I just say to myself, like, I cannot believe it. Like, I can't believe how quickly time goes by. Time has really flown, like, and, you know, baby K is doing amazing. She's doing really, really well. Like, she just, oh my gosh, she's just a joy to be around. And I know a lot of people actually ask questions. They're like, oh, how come she don't post her? How come we haven't seen her yet? To be 100% real with you guys, it's like, I'm still quite new to, like, the social media world. Even when my kids were, like, much younger, like, the age that baby K is at, I never, like, really put them on social media like that so in this case it's like i don't know like i don't know when i'm gonna put her up i don't know like at what age i'm gonna put her up really just enjoying being in the moment watching her grow like watching her her milestones just watching her develop and i'm just like I really just want to keep that to myself for now. Like, don't get me wrong, I've been vlogging loads with her, like, but I just feel like I'm just not ready to put it up, you know? I'm just not ready to do that. I feel like she's still quite young. I feel like with the other kids, they're, like, a little bit older now, so it's okay, but I just feel like she's just such a baby. Like, I want her to, like, hit her milestones first. The walking, the talking, crawling, like, she's trying to crawl now already. Like, But just, like, those little milestones, like, I just want her to just hit it. So I'm just like, maybe I'm going like, to put her up when she's like one or something i don't know but we're just literally seeing how it's going um i'm really allowing myself to like be led by god be led by um the spirit and when it feels right you guys are gonna see her she's just so 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 amazing i'm taking loads of pictures like so i'm probably like when she hits one i'll probably do a vlog of like a backlog vlog or whatever i don't know i really don't want this video to be that long but look at me it's like already six minutes in and i'm just chatting i haven't even started my makeup so we're gonna start our makeup and we are going to chat you guys already know how it is like when i do the sit down videos it's like i start showing you guys what i'm doing and then halfway i totally even forget what i'm doing and i don't even show the products so I'm gonna try my best shoe, shoe, shoe. 
I'm gonna try my best to show all of those things, but if I get distracted and I forget, guys, please just forgive me. It is what it is. It is what it is. Hey, how was your new year? How was Christmas? How was all of that? You guys probably saw that um I started with the vlogmas and then it just it went like it just went all the way. I hope you guys are still moisturizing your skin because moisturizing your skin is like the best thing that you guys can do. This is hydraulic um serum, like I'm just so into this now, like you guys don't even understand. I tried to do the vlogmas and it was just a lot like i just couldn't keep up with the vlogmas so i think i did like day one and then i did like day five and then you guys got nothing um after that and i just do you know what it was i just didn't want to like pressurize myself i didn't want to put all that pressure on myself to give you guys something that i wasn't putting my all into it so i thought do you know what there's always next year and i feel like that's just how i feel like sometimes you know i feel like i've literally put so much pressure on myself during my pregnancy and then after having baby k like i put so much pressure on myself to like come back on the scene and to give content and to do that and i just feel like mentally i wasn't in the right mind frame i was battling with a lot of things like i wouldn't say it was like i mean i don't even know what to say because it wasn't like i didn't go to like the, the doctors like i didn't get clinically oh i can never say this word diagnosed diagnosed ah this word here <laughs> like it wasn't that but i just felt in myself like i wasn't myself I, I was feeling like very sad and i was feeling very like upset and i kept questioning myself like am i being a good mom like am i giving everything not just to baby k but to the rest of the kids like is this what the kids need like there was just like so much of that going on that i just felt like oh my god that and then on top of like keeping up with social media i just couldn't it was just a lot like that like, you know like okay i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you guys but you know like comments like oh snapback is real snapback queen like all of those comments kind of like got to me a little bit as well because it's like i was so determined like okay yeah like once i have my baby i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna gym it out i'm gonna eat correctly i want to do that i want to do that but i was just so depressed I just felt so depressed and because of like the growth of my pituitary gland as i explained to you guys when i was pregnant um this is just primer that i'm adding on top because of the growth of my pituitary gland and the pituitary gland is literally what controls all the hormones like that's like the hormone center right so because of that the way it was swollen i was producing way more hormones than like a normal woman that had just given birth or just like a normal woman period so my hormones were all over the place there were moments where i was feeling really sad there were moments where i was crying there were moments where i was just like was just just questioning myself and just not feeling my normal self so then i had like doubts and i'll look at myself in the mirror and i'll just like oh my god like this is not what i'm used to like you know when i had my other kids like i was working out at home hard i was waist training i was watching my food intake i was drinking plenty of water like i was just so disciplined and then this time i was just not disciplined i, I just didn't know what was happening which is very very difficult for me what i just put on right now i've been loving this one this is the mac studio radiance this is a moisturizing illuminating silky primer i absolutely love this one this one was gifted to me a while back when i went to the mac um i think it was the mac halloween party or something like that and i've been using this one ever since this is absolutely gorgeous 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 i would highly recommend and the one that i used previous this is i got gifted as well this is from evolve organic beauty this is hydraulic serum and yeah this is just it literally just brings moisture back into your skin and if you use it on a daily i found it has got rid of um some of my dark spots you know when you're on your period you get like spots or whatever and they leave like dark marks um i feel like this has also helped so there was just a lot of hormones there was a lot of hormones a lot of hormones a lot of crying like a lot of just feeling sad a lot of not feeling confident and to be honest any mum out there any whether your child is six months old two months old ten months old 10 years old i just feel like us women we put so much pressure on ourselves to like snap back snap back snap back like i'm the queen of like doing the hot water technique like and uh, waist training and eating healthy like but for some reason this time around I don't know what happened i just couldn't keep up i really just couldn't keep up um so uh, as much as i know a lot of the women were saying it coming from like a good place like for me personally i just felt like pressure and i was just like oh my god like i cannot do this like you know it's only recent i've decided to like you know go on a little bit of a diet and i'm kind of like you know getting back there but um the pressure that we put on ourselves as women is too much it's too much like men don't even have that pressure like that do you know what i'm saying like 
that is so unfair like honestly yeah so but i'm feeling better now i'm feeling better now and also just a massive thank you to everybody that even reached out to me everyone that showed concern everybody that was checking in on me everyone that was trying to figure out what was happening thank you thank you thank you thank you you guys are absolutely amazing like, thank you so much to every single person i'm gonna start with my eyebrows like do you know what i've tried to do my base and then do my eyes and eyebrows but i'm just really not good at it that's not my thing so i don't know um i was gifted this by benefit precisely my eyebrow pencil i can't remember what color this is in but um let me see what color is hey silly ass i don't know i can't remember what color this is but um it's probably brown or something like that but this is really really stunning i love using this i'm actually gonna quickly do this eyebrow off camera and then i'll come back because this is not a makeup tutorial this is like a sit down and get ready with me so I, you guys don't want to see all of that right if you guys do want to see like a tutorial let me know like i feel like my makeup is not like i'm not like queen makeup like do you know what i mean i just do my makeup normal but if you guys do want to see it like let me know but i'm gonna do quickly my eyebrows off camera and then we'll come back and then we will discuss jarif okay bisous bye bye few moments later eyebrows are done i don't know about you but i find eyebrows the most daunting and just time consuming thing to do when i'm doing my makeup but recently i haven't so much been loving the way my eyebrows have been looking because it's been looking like it's in two different continents two different time zones two different races two different everything but i'm loving it today amazing ain't nothing but a g thing baby it ain't changed i'll still be using my pro concealer la girl in the color fawn because listen i am that chick and on my face still and always using my fenty beauty in the color 430 as i was saying i couldn't remember what i was saying where i was at i don't know yeah i just went through like self-doubt i lost my self-esteem i lost my confidence um a little bit but it's okay like because i feel like i'm slowly getting back to where i need to get and the reason to that is i think it's only because i gave myself time now sometimes we just need to give ourselves time to heal give ourselves time to get better to recover like everybody says time is you know the master healer and i just feel like i'm a lot more confident now I'm, I'm happier i feel like i'm doing an amazing job i feel like i'm a great mom i feel like i'm a great wife i'm a good friend i'm a good sister i'm a good daughter like i just feel like right now i just i feel just good i feel so 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 good about myself like i've cleansed my space i'm the type of person like if i'm not getting on with somebody or if the energy is not right with somebody i rather I like distance myself from them because I feel like I can't do the fakery like I can't be around people that I don't like I can't I don't want to do it like in the past I've done it but as I'm getting older like it's just I don't want that for me anymore like if I don't F of you like I don't F of you and especially like if you keep giving the people a chance again and again and again and again you keep giving people all of these chances and nothing changes it's okay to just be like do you know what I respect you enough for me to step away because if I stay around you it's gonna turn sticky sometimes I just feel like words are so powerful sometimes that once you do have an argument and you cross the line like some things just cannot be taken back i have definitely you know intentionally um cleansed my space like certain people i just don't want to be around and I've, I've taken that decision like i don't want to be around you and it's fine because i feel like every other year there's always stuff happening every other year there's always some bs and i just can't anymore like i just feel like i'm too busy i'm too grown i've got way too many kids I'm just busy and I want people around me that are that want to be around me. I want people around me that love me, people around me that are genuine, that are authentic. Like I just don't I can't deal with the fakery anymore. And I don't care if you're family or not, like I do not care. Telling me one thing and then showing me something else, like you better show me who you are. Like my mom's always said to me, like when someone shows you their bad mind, I beg you believe them. Like if someone shows you like they are evil spirited, believe them because a leopard don't change its spots like i swear to you like the spots only probably gets bigger like and we ignore so much red flags when it comes to like family like oh no they're family so no like no like family can be bad man choose your people choose them wisely choose your tribe um you know this year like i said i'm just about good vibes like i don't really care about anything else just about raising my kids and making memories like this year like i really want to do a lot more like family stuff 
stuff like i want to do like can you imagine like we've never done a family holiday like ever not like we've done like the little like going to france to belgium to me that's not even a holiday that's just like going around the corner but this year i want a lot more holidays with like my mom my sister vacation just family stuff i want to do a lot more family stuff like so that's just what i want to do i want to create memories this year like and yeah i'm just diving deep into my work as well you know this whole social media life as well first of all is not easy so when i'm having people like oh my god how do you do it and stuff like that like it's not easy like there's a lot of sacrifices um that comes to it like for me to even grow as fast as i've grown in my platform and stuff like that it's taken a lot of work like but i feel like with me growing so quickly what it did was it allowed me to get comfortable i got comfortable then i was like okay i hit my 100k now i hit my 100k on on instagram what else I was like, I have to hit 100k before the end of the year, and I hit it before the end of the year. Like, so again, words are powerful, guys. So if you guys are chasing blessings and whatever, like, it's actually okay to speak into it existence. Like, I really believe, like, you know, the Bible says, like, when you are speaking words, the heaven and the earth bear witness to it. Like, so speak positivity, speak life of your job, finances, health, children, your marriage, whatever you are aspiring to be and to do in life. Like, speak it, like, say it. And also, there's also power in writing it down so a lot of people do mood boards i haven't done a mood board but i've definitely got like a diary like a journal and in there i've put things that i want so it also helps i think it's in a book of habakkuk i think i'm saying it right i'm gonna find it first and i'm gonna put it up here um you know it speaks about writing things down like write things down and and envisioning you know all of those things are very 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 important um so yeah so i was like i want to hit 100k and i hit 100k and then i got really really comfortable like and then even on tiktok like tiktok is what has really surprised me like i started off on like what was i on i can't even remember what i started i was on like not a lot on, <laughs> on tiktok like the way i'm like approaching 300k on tiktok and but yeah, like, so I feel like I kind of got a bit relaxed. So this year, like, I'm not going to be relaxed anymore. I'm putting my foot down. Like, I'm working, working, working. Like, I mean, it's like mid-January. It's like nearly the end of, um, of January. And I still feel like I haven't really done as much as I would have normally done there are days where i'm tired and i don't want to force it but there's days where it's like i'm on it like i want to do three four five content in one day like and it's just it, it is what it is like but yeah man this year like i'm just chasing the bag like i just want to be like successful in what i'm doing like because at the end of the day like i feel like the social media work it takes a lot of time away like it takes me away from my family a lot and you know there's events i have to attend and there's like i have to go take content i have to go do that so all the time i'm not always like fully here so my thing is just that like, i want this at the end of the day i want it to be worth it like i want to look back at the end of the year and be like it was worth it like definitely last year it was definitely worth it like i feel like i did some amazing stuff um i was i walked into rooms that i normally wouldn't have walked into like especially i've got the best team like with vamp that i work with vamp um i was signed to vamp was it last year yeah i think yeah i can't remember when but you know working with vamp as well like just being around people that believe in your vision people that believe in your dream i just feel like it's really helped me enter spaces and to meet people that i normally wouldn't have met on a normal day like you know so i've definitely put in the work but this year like baby like we have to go higher we have to go higher we have to go higher because like because if not then like well, what, what am i doing for what am i doing it for if i'm unable to go higher like if i'm unable to you know do more than i did last year like this year i want to do more than i did last year like so that's where i'm at really like this year just good vibes working creating loads of memory that's it like i feel like I'm, i am a great person so must in myself like i don't really feel like there's anything i need to change like and that's not even me like <laughs> being like do you know what I mean? Like thinking like my ish don't stink, like because of course it does, like, but I'm just like, I know what type of person I am, like, and I'm gonna continue being that great person, like period. Like Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what else I can really say. Um, so yeah, this year all about good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. What's your New Year's resolution? Yeah, it's good to start a year and you have plans and you know where you're going and you have ambitions. Like, but at the same time, it's like it's, you can start again. Like, it's not because you failed and that's it. Like, no, like pick up again. Like, pick up again and let's go. You know? Oh, I really hate doing this process. Like, do you ever day imagine I tried to like contour my nose? I thought I looked fine and I took pictures and I literally had like this wonky. Like, I I gave myself like a a wonky 
wonky nose like it looked hella wonky and i was just thinking on my days like why did I do this to myself? Why? So sometimes I don't even do this. I don't know why I've done it today, but applying on makeup is just so long sometimes. Like a little bit of setting spray before I do all of that. And let me just go and wet my beauty blender quickly. One second, guys. I like to make my beauty blender just a little bit moist because I feel like it blends better. But yeah, man, this year has been so far so good. I celebrated my birthday. Oh, and by the way, I am going to like go back to like normal uh, editing um, and I'm going to go back to normal up loads again so tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend your girl is back diamond is back diamond is back diamond is back um i'm gonna be doing a lot more content back on here because i've kind of like been bad mind to you guys i know like i've hardly been posting i'm not keeping you guys updated on nothing so yeah so i'm gonna be back to uh uploading but, like we're gonna go back to the vlogs we're gonna go back to the halls we're gonna go back to the good vibes we're gonna go back to the good vibes so uh, that's what i'm gonna do and also i've got like some old content as well from last year that i just didn't put up so you guys are gonna be getting some of that as well because i just feel like i recorded it like i um i filmed it so why not just edit it and put it up you know so that's what we're also going to do as well. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, I'm just going to be vlogging a lot more. like, Because I feel like it's important to kind of share my journey with you guys. You guys have helped me also to, you know get to this place that i'm at right now so i just want to like bring you guys along the journey and just to show you guys that you guys can do it anyone can do it you know i'm here a, mo a mom with five kids like i'm married like and i'm still able to turn my hobby into like a full-time thing like so you guys can definitely um do it as well like don't doubt yourself like don't feel like oh i can't do it like and it doesn't even have to be like social media it could be anything like anything it could be a new work it could be moving to a new country it could be like anything in life like you guys can like we can do it like it, it's literally mind over matter like when we start thinking about that oh i can't i can't i can't i can't that's when like we kind of like hold ourselves back and then we don't allow ourselves to grow so you can do and become anything you want no matter your age period okay let me not do that too much because i don't want to create creases one second hold on hold on hold on hold on. i'll be back i'll be back oh cha do you know what it is i'm trying to do <laughs> oh i look crazy i'm trying to do the fringe party look it's yeah it's giving a lot of work it really is but yeah guys i just wanted to literally check in with you guys and you know and see where you guys are at and just also wish you guys a happy new year as well and just to let you know what we are doing this year this year there's nothing but good vibes okay i know i skipped a lot of steps guys but like i said this is not a tutorial this was more or less just a get ready with me okay but yeah guys what i'm gonna do i'm gonna finish doing the rest of my makeup and then do my hair and then i'll come back and then we can close this off because i've been sat here for two hours i swear to you two hours like what am i doing what am i thinking so yeah so i'm gonna come back to you guys see how dumb we look when we put our makeup <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna come back to you guys when i'm like half done okay and that way we can talk some more and then we can close out i'm going on a date night by the way i love your good date night oh my god all in celebration of my birthday still because it's still my birthday okay i'm celebrating my birthday all month long i'm so lucky but yeah guys you can do whatever you like but yeah, I'll be back in a little while. I'm gonna let this bake, let it do its thing, and then I'll be back and then I'm gonna do my hair. And then yeah. <laughs> you know when you're about to finish your makeup and you can already see where it's going. <laughs> Few moments later. What you guys think? What you guys think? What you guys think? Don't get twisted, it took me It was a lot of hard work. It was a lot of hard work. What do you guys think? Okay, so clearly being away from YouTube has made me forget the steps and the requirements that is needed to be a vlogger because I didn't charge my battery and my battery had died before I could even do an outro. However, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for riding out with me. I was feeling myself. I was feeling myself. The date night was amazing, which by the way, a vlog will be following next week. We are back so you can catch me on Wednesdays and on Sundays, okay? i'll be uploading those two days without a doubt make sure you guys check me out also on the ig i love you guys we are back on the road baby i'll see you guys on the next vlog bye